this is Amar again from SSLtrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can install a certificate successfully on the Lightspeed web server. So let's get started. So I'm logged in as admin to the web admin console on Lightspeed and the first step in this process is to generate a CSR or a certificate sign-in request and a private key and for that we're going to open Solar Putty or your favorite SSH client and log in as root to your server. So basically a CSR or a certificate sign-in request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. Now the command to generate the CSR and private key is as follows. So basically we're going to type in sudo open SSL and then we're going to request sudo open SSL and then we're going to request a new a new key which will be using the RSA 2048 hashing algorithm and then dash nodes dash key out and this is where you specify the output the directory where the key will be stored so we're going to use the default lightspeed directory dash user dash local dash lsws slash let me maximize this slash let's call our key server dot key and we're going to do the same for our csr dash out the same directory dash usr slash local slash lsws and then let's call our csr as server dot csr press enter and fill in these details real quick the two letter country code or the two letter abbreviation for country the name of your state the city where you reside and the name of your organization the organizational units such as IT and then your domain name without www and then the email your email address Uh, leave this field empty, press enter, and no need for the optional company name too, press enter. Now to view your CSR or private key, we're going to type in the command cat, and let's specify the directory. Our CSR is server.csr, located in this directory. And this is our certificate sign request, which has been generated, so make sure you copy this from the very start to the very end. And save it on your clipboard or you can save it in a notepad file if you find that to be your thing so this is step one the next step in this process is to order and configure our SSL certificate using this certificate sign request so I'm here on the SSL trust home page and now is the time to order a certificate so basically if you're a small business or have a single domain name and you want to secure one single domain name you can choose from various certificates that we have and whether you're a business and you want premium security and you can choose the business validation certificate or if you have multiple domain names and you want to secure them under one certificate you can go for the multi-domain SSL and same goes for the wildcard SSL certificate which secures unlimited subdomains so basically if you need help in choosing an SSL certificate you can always reach out to our sales and support team and they'll be happy to assist you so for this video we're going to go with the Commodore Positive SSL you can choose that as a low cost alternative for a single domain name this is the pricing we're going to take it for one year click on buy SSL and then click on checkout fill in your details choose your preferred method of payment and then click on complete order once you're done with that you can head over to the SSL trust dashboard 
and then choose your active product or service that you've purchased. Now, we're going to click on the Start Certificate Configuration button to do the configuration ourselves. But in case you're using an installation service or have someone doing it for you, you can provide the following URL to that person. So let's start the certificate configuration. And now we're going to paste in our certificate sign request or the CSR that we've copied, including all the dashes in the begin and end certificate request. Now we're going to click on verify CSR to verify all the details. And as you can see, these details look just good, exactly like we inputted. And server type, let's go with other since there's no mention of light speed. Click on next step and fill in your details right here. And your email address. Now, if you're the admin, and you're purchasing the certificate and you have a technical contact doing the installation for you please mention his, his or her details here and they will also have permission to manage the certificate otherwise we're going to go with use admin contact for now and click on next step so now comes an important part in this step which is domain control validation so basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is SecDigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it, that you are the owner. So there are three methods of validation. The first being the email method. So you should have an email admin at the rate yourdomainname.com and you'll be sent an email with a, and a link upon which when you click on should validate your domain name. The second method is the HTTP file or the HTTPS file method. So basically, what you need to do is create a text file with this exact name in this very directory. You need to create new directories in your server management system. And then you need to paste in these contents into that file and save it and click on submit configuration. You can check that file right here if that is being served by the server. The third and the method that we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method. So basically what you have to do is head over to your DNS settings with whatever either the domain name provider or the hosting provider. Head over to the name, uh, DNS settings, go to CNAME, click on add new record and copy this, the CNAME record and paste it right here. Do the same for the CNAME value, copy and paste it right here. Click on save and that should be it. Now we're going to click on the check DNS button, uh, record button right there. And let's close this up, click on search. So now as you can see, the DNS record has not been resolved yet and it should take a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS server's propagation speed. So for now, we are going to click on search again. And as you can see, it has not yet propagated anywhere. So for now, let's submit our configuration and we'll wait for our DNS records to propagate and be validated by SecDigo. Our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are awaiting validation. So click here to access the validation manager. And as you can see, our domain control validation is complete. Our record has propagated in quite a few, quite few enough places. So let's close this up. Let's close this up too. And now we can head over and collect or download our certificate. Now, in case you this your domain has not been validated yet, you can come back here under dashboard, click on domain control validation. So I'll head back to the dashboard just to show that to you. And then you can click on the certificate and there will be a button here before the certificate has been issued called access validation manager by which you can come back here and click on this 
and it will be it would open a drop down menu upon which you can refresh or resubmit the method that you chose for domain control validation to freshen up things on Sectigo's end. So for now, let's close this. And now we can click on the collect or download certificate button. Okay, so the third step in this process is to download our certificate files and upload them to our Lightspeed web server. So what we're going to do real quick is click on this copy to clipboard button right here on the certificate. Copy to clipboard and let's fire up our SSH client again. Login as root. And we're going to type in the command sudo nano slash usr slash local slash lightspeed lsws slash let's call our certificate as certificate dot crt and right click to paste this control x y enter and now you've saved the certificate let's do the same for the intermediate certificate sudo nano slash usr slash local slash lsws slash let's call it intermediate dot crt the intermediate certificate and then press enter now we are going to head back over to Sectigo, the collection homepage, and now we're going to click on copy to clipboard on the intermediate certificate and paste it right click to paste it control x y enter to save it so this is how easy it was to upload SR ssl certificate files from the Sectigo homepage the collection homepage to our lightspeed web server all right, so the next step in this process is to install the certificate on the Lightspeed web server. So I'm here on the Lightspeed web server admin homepage. And what we're going to do now is head over to configuration and then listeners. And we are going to add a new listener and listener name. Let's call it SSL or any name you like any ipv4 address and the port we're going to use is 443 which is the default port for ssl and click on the secure check the secure button right here and then you can add any nodes if you like but uh, this is it and we're going to click on save to add the listener successfully so now we are going to select our listener and then we're going to go to the ssl settings click on SSL and now we're going to specify the file parts to our certificate files so basically we're going to type in slash USR slash local slash LSWS and the name of our server dot key file which is server dot key and just make sure you change this in case you've made any changes if you've not referred to the video or the written guide make sure to change the name or the directory specifically now the certificate file slash usr slash local slash lsws slash certificate dot crt now what you need to do is once we have done once we're done with the certificate now a change certificate we are not going to be using a change certificate let's uh let's make it not set let's let it be and now you need to fill one of these two options only so basically the cs certificate parts specifies where the change certificates are kept and the cs certificate file specifies where the cs certificate file is kept the intermediate certificate so we're gonna specify the location of the intermediate certificate and let's call it intermediate dot crt and then click on save now we need to set the ssl protocols the versions so we're going to be using the latest ones only so just check tlsv 1.2 and tlsv 1.3 that's it click on save and that should be it once we are done with the ssl protocols we can now select our listener go to configuration listeners select your listener and then add a virtual host mapping 
which is the website that you plan to host or whatever select that we have an example listener for now and you can either specify the domain name or use it for all domains which i'm going to do in this case click on save and that should be it by now once we're done with the virtual host so now we can uh, just go to actions and click on graceful restart to restart the web server and as you can see our ssl is now listener is now running and our virtual host is running too and now type in our domain name to check if our certificate was installed https colon double slash sslguides.com.au without the port click on enter and as you can see our website is now secure our connection to the site is now secure we have successfully installed an ssl certificate on the lightspeed web server okay so now once we've viewed our certificate chain we can now conduct an ssl labs test to make sure that our certificate is of the highest encryption and everything is good to go so we can head to a website called ssllabs.com and just copy your url and click on test your server and and as you can see we are done with the test and we have got an overall rating of a bonus points for certificate protocol support key exchange and cipher strength and if you scroll down everything looks okay we are supporting the correct correct protocols our server is and everything looks good to go so this is how easy it was to install an ssl certificate on your lightspeed web server now i do need to mention again that there is a written guide available in the very description of this video and if you've got any questions please put them in the comments below and that is it thanks for watching